I guarantee you that there have been situations in your life that woman amplified and reflected your energy, but you didn't notice. I've always been kind of unaware and unconscious of like the masculine and the feminine energy dynamics, but especially the past couple of years that I've gained more insight and more experiences with women, I've been able to gather more information and I've been able to properly form a perspective on this topic. And I'll be honest, I'm going to start with a good story so I can paint a picture of you that I, how I got this kind of information, you know what I mean? So first time that I actually properly noticed this, like I was actually conscious of this moment was that just say about a year and a half ago. And this story that I'm going to tell you was about, uh, with my former girlfriend, my ex, and we were like hiking in this jungle. It was like raining and foggy. We hiked and by the time we came down, it was just like all like, it was like in San Francisco. So the, there's like a bunch of jungles there and everything was foggy, rainy, cold. It was December. So if you're living in California, you know how cold San Francisco gets during those times. But long story short, we parked, we went to the hike, we were in the jungle or whatever, we came back. And as we were coming down and we were trying to find the car, it was just all foggy, all cold. We couldn't see shit. Like, let's just say, like it was, we were pretty much lost. Let's just say that, right? So I was talking about some topics about like some government stuff, you know what I mean? Um, and then she noticed and she asked me, we lost our car. We can't find our car. But in my, in my mind, I was like, She's right. So here's the thing. Here's where I, where I pay attention to the vibe, you know? So we were just talking and she started to panic that we we pretty much lost the car. We couldn't find it because it was all foggy. And in my mind, I was like, yeah, we did like we did. We technically lost the car, right? Like we can't find it. Right. But in my mind, like, okay, let me just be calm and we're going to find it. So what I did, this is how I finessed it, right? I didn't even acknowledge the problem. I just continued with my conversation. I'm like, let me just finish the conversation, right? And her energy completely switched. Instead of being like worried and like completely like anxious and stressed about like us, like not finding our car, she was more relaxed. She was more calm because she picked up that energy and reflected, the, you know, reflected it back because I was like calm. I kept it like I kept my composure and I kept it moving forward. You know, like I was like, if you're going to find a car, don't worry. It's nothing, no big deal. And she, she picked up my energy. You know what I mean? So she mirrored it. And this is the first time that I actually noticed. I'm like, yo, she pretty much reflected my vibe, you know? And I was like, this is interesting. This is interesting. You know what I mean? And this was like a good, a good learning lesson for me to be understanding of that and the masculine, uh, masculine and feminine energy dynamics. And another time I'm sure bunch of you like probably went through this like I'm sure you already noticed sometimes things happen in your family or like you're just having a bad day especially you and you're like something happened to work or like school you're coming home and your mood is off right your mood is off and then a family member maybe your mom or your sister they they kind of pick up your energy and they just make the situation even worse in the sense of like I just say you fail the test, right? You're feeling like bad and you're like angry. And then like your, your mom or your sister just somehow make it worse. So you're like, please don't make this even worse. Like I'm already having a bad day. And they just like, they keep adding fuel to the fire. You know what I mean? Like there's been those situations that like a woman just amplify the situation even more. Like if it's a bad situation, they make it like even more, like more annoying. Like a please, like just leave me alone. Like don't, don't like, don't make it even harder for me. You know what I mean? I, I'm sure you already know what I mean. Or when there is like, things are really, really good and you're really happy. Women are just like way more happy than everyone. It's like they amplify the energy. And I remember I saw like a video from Tate. He, he's, he mentioned the same thing. He was like, woman just amplify the vibe and the energy. And I was like, yo, this is so crazy. Cause like I fully, fully understood what he meant. And from that day on, like I was always way more aware and like more conscious of how I set the energy, how I set the tone. Cause as a man, as a masculine person, you, it's always your job to set the tone. In my belief, the job of a masculine is to set the tone, set the energy. And the job of the feminine energy is just to amplify it, reflect it. You know what I mean? That's my experience. And from the stories that I've gone through, it highlighted that thing that I learned so many times. And there's been like times that I've went to a date and I've been really, really excited and happy. And the woman just picks up my energy right off the bat. And she's like reflecting it to me. You know what? 
Also, there's been some bad dates recently that I've been, like, it was like, I went on a date, I was like, not really feeling my best. I was like, not sad, but like, I was just kind of like low energy, like, uh, lethargic. Like, I wasn't really like excited, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't really like eager to meet the, the girl or whatever, like in the sense of like, the day was just off, you know what I mean? There's like some days that you just don't really feel right. And then the moment I, I, I met up with the girl, it's like the vibe was kind of low. She kind of picked up my energy and like, by the time like the like the meetup ended, like the meetup, what am I saying? It's like a, not a company meeting or whatever. By the time like the, the date ended, it was kind of like the energy was off. Like we were, we were like, ah, oh, let's just go home. Like, you know what I mean? Like those kind of things. And it was the time I'm like, okay, so how you set the tone matters a lot. And this is when I started to picking up on those small details that I'm like, okay, I should be more aware of this because the most important thing is that you need to be aware because if you're not aware, you're just going like very NPC mode, very automatic. Some guys, they're more high, like more um, high energy. They're like more like they're more programmed and raised in a way to always like kind of take the initiative. You know what I mean? But sometimes if you're like too stuck in your brain, sometimes you know, like I overthink and I'm like, I try to like be very super, super unaware, not unaware, super un, un pre, like not the, I'm not present in the moment. And then what happens is that I miss the, the opportunity to set the tones, to set the energy and overall the whole vibe gets off. So what I would recommend is whenever you want to, whenever you go on a date, whenever you, even you're meeting a woman or just whenever you're within your family and you feel like the, the tone and the energy is off, it's your job to set the tone, to set the energy. You know what I mean? So I want you to pay attention and be aware of that. And what I would recommend is, let me see, I put in my notes. I want to give you the most important lesson that I learned from this is that I want you to be more intentional and more conscious of like the type of energy you set. Okay. So whenever you are meeting a girl or whenever you're dealing with women in general, or whenever you're around women, I want you to take the initiative on set the, setting the tone and the energy and the vibe because they're going to pick up on that. They're going to reflect it. They're going to just amplify it because remember, as I said, even Tate said it and I agree fully 100% is that women amplify the vibe and the energy. So it's your duty to take initiative and just set the tone. That's all you have to do. And these are like the mistakes that I made in the past. Like there's been times that I haven't been able to properly set the tone and just it costed me the date or like just the girl didn't really like wanted to be with me anymore. You know what I mean? It's like those kind of things are like you just learn and you're able to actually properly implement these things that I'm telling you. So make sure to always set the tone. That's your job as a masculine man. And remember, whenever you're it's kind of like becomes very interesting to see how women react whenever you like do that, you intentionally and when you're conscious of what you do, it becomes so beautiful to see the dynamics works because like whenever women feel very uncomfortable, whenever they're in their masculine, it's not their natural, their natural energy vibe. You know what I mean? So it's like, obviously there are some masculine women that they, they thrive with more masculine energy, but like majority of the girls, they tend to be more feminine. So it's your job to be the masculine person. And whenever you demonstrate your masculine energy and whenever you set the tone the right way, it's just the, the connection between the masculine and the feminine becomes so beautiful. Like, honestly, it's a great thing. And I don't know why I discovered it kind of late because maybe I just got into this very late. But long story short, make sure to always set the tone. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is like a video that was like, this is going to help a lot of people, I believe is something that can a lot of guys can learn from because I didn't really watch these kind of videos when I was younger. I was watching like stupid videos like, I don't know, uh, Fussy Tube or like some dumb videos that didn't make sense at all. But long story short, if you're like having struggles with like the masculine and the feminine energy, this video will be the best for you. Just again, one more time, if you're a guy, always set the tone and the energy. Thank you for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you later in the next video. Bye-bye.